Warner Nation, um, doing this quick vlog uh, simply because I woke up maybe, truly truly woke up maybe about half hour ago and I woke up to my wife giving me the news that someone in my family not related to me family wise um, Miss Carrie Fisher uh, sadly passed away today at 8.55 um, surrounded by her loved ones and it makes me think about my own mortality and it makes me think about what would people do if I died of course crying is going to be one of the things that people do and whatnot, but think about it most people don't claim to know actors, actresses, somewhat semi-famous people. And I'm not talking about the Kardashians. I'm talking about people who truly were famous, not because of their ability to do sex tapes or anything, but like singers like George Michael. George Michael died yesterday uh, on Christmas Day. Um, you know? Uh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. George Michael was first known for being in the band called Wham. Okay. Um, then he went on a solo career, and uh, he had a few famous songs like "I Gotta Have Faith" um, and a few others. He also did a lot of collaborations with other artists who are sadly no longer with us. Um, and. It, it makes you think about your own mortality and how people are going to perceive to see you. Um, that's why I do these vlogs. Um, I have two daughters, two, two daughters. I don't talk about them much simply because I value their privacy. Um, I don't talk about them much on stream because I value their privacy. I, I value their safety. Um, when I first started streaming, I had some very scary people. Um, borderline stalkers. Um, one guy even sent me uh, uh, pictures of him outside my old house back in South London. You know, and it it was creepy. You know, um, and I mean, like full on the fuck creepy, and. That person's no longer around because, you know, I eventually called the Metropolitan Police and, you know, what he did was technically stalking and, and, and there was a rip put up, which is a, um, a restraining order. Um, and th that was the end of it, as far as I know, that was the end of it. Um, but, and I just say but with a, you know, ah, that big butts and I cannot lie yeah you know, sort of thing yeah. those sort of people that sort of action still does make you question your own mortality especially with, with, with Miss Fisher dying I recently showed a movie called Fanboys to Grimm and she's in that movie so is Ray Park uh, Billy D. Williams um uh, I mean, a whole slew of actual Star Wars actors. Miss Fisher is in the movie, she plays a doctor. And, um, Seth Rogen's in it, he plays multiple characters in the movie. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob are also in that movie. It's a really good movie. Go see it, it's called Fanboys. It's about a group of guys who drive halfway across the country to break into Skywalker Ranch to steal themselves a, uh, a, a print of Star Wars Episode 1. And... And... and yeah, it's just... It, it makes you question everything, every motive that goes on. 
questions your mortality, you know? Or when someone you know from growing up as a kid like I did, you know? And to Miss Fisher's family, I know you're probably never gonna see this video, but thank you. I'm, I am personally respecting your privacy at this time. I'm not gonna bug you guys. I'm not gonna ask you for an interview or any shit like that, like CNN and everyone else is doing. I'm gonna respect your wishes, give you your time to grieve, but just know this. Miss Fisher touched my soul, my heart, my life, and not just because of the slave layer dress, okay? As I was saying just before I started filming, the most iconic role is Leia, but it's not the whole, help me everyone, can I be here, my only hope, fucking scene or anything. No, 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 pardon my French. No, 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 no. Or the slave layer scene, no. I'll always remember her as the badass woman who went to go rescue her man, i.e. when she dressed up as the bounty hunter and went into Chewbacca's, uh, not Chewbacca, uh, uh, into uh, Jabba's palace to rescue Han. That's what I'll always remember her as, the badass warrior woman. She, in my honest opinion, is more braver than Xena. She was the very first Xena warrior princess. Think about that for a second. Food for thought, guys, food for thought. All right, I'm going to finish this video. Threaten the. I'm not even gonna bother editing it. I'm just gonna throw it straight up on YouTube. Alright, guys, Hi. anyway, rest in peace, Miss Fisher. My family, I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. But, and it's gonna sound tacky, but it's the truth. The force is with her, and the force is with you.